So it's this time of semester again. in my jumper oh, than I do. <laughs> Second day in a row of having an assignment due at 8am. I've written my first draft. It's almost, it's almost ready. It's just 200 words over the word limit. I need to fill in my references. I need to format it. Should take me about an hour. But Eve, Jack and Ahis were here. So I stayed up until about 1, 1.30. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> but it's fine. <laughs> I'll finish this assignment, I'll submit it, and I'll go to bed for like all morning. <laughs> hey there guys, and welcome to a week in the life of what I don't show you as much, and that is the stress that I feel every week trying to do all these assignments and all these classes. Come on a journey of watching me slowly get more run down and see how I tackle this mess of academics. <laughs> this one's for all my friends at uni. Nate, we got this. Done. I finished. I've got 17 minutes to the deadline, so I'm on it. The way my uni works is that we have six weeks, intense classes, assignments, everything just shoved into those six weeks. And then we get two days off, which gets added to the weekend. So it's like a four day holiday. And those two days off are this coming weekend, which means right now is just such a high density of assignments. I had one due yesterday at 8 a.m., which means the day before that I spent like 10 hours writing. And I also have an assignment due in two days. I can't remember if I said this explicitly or not, but my uni's a bit but interesting, it's kind of liberal arts, which means you carve your major and minor as you go. So it's not set in stone until the end of this year. But this semester I'm taking two business courses and one neuroscience, biological neuroscience course. Bit different, bit interesting, those two. Uh, but I love it because I love still having this biological influence. I've never studied psychology, but I'm really enjoying a psychology lens. And then thinking about what I want to do post uni, I really see myself going into some kind of entrepreneurial space and i love the business course at minerva it's super practical it's all about business for good and like corporate social responsibility and how business is just like oh another way to change the world and how corporations have so much power in solving the world's problems so my two business courses this semester one of them is kind of like marketing and the other is finance which means i do accounting <laughs> Which honestly so far hasn't been too bad, it's it's okay. <laughs> because they constantly position it within a greater context of, okay, finance is here for you to understand things better so that you can create a better strategy to solve problems better and scale your ideas to change the world. <laughs> Today's paper was a mock peer review. I don't know about you, but I've never had to write a peer review before. Peer review is what happens to articles before they get accepted into journals or before they get published. And this has given me such a new appreciation for the role of an editor of an academic journal where they have to take a paper, view it with such a critical eye, go through all the studies, go through all the methods used, really try and understand the field of the paper, and then decide based on that if you want to accept the paper, make minor revisions, or reject it based off of major revisions. I was given the option of three papers, I just chose a random one because the deadline was today and I'm like, Jane, come on. And whatever I chose, I had to make myself kind of an expert in that niche space so that I could understand it enough to write this peer review. And I chose how sex hormones affect the recall of words in a directed forgetting paradigm, which I thought would be easy and turned out to be really confusing. <laughs> it was about how different hormones in the menstrual cycle affect verbal memory processing, which is interesting. But their results and discussion section is a bit of a mess of words. And also, I don't know about you, but I didn't know anything about 17 beta estradiol. And I also have never heard of this directed list forgetting paradigm. I'm actually really proud of myself because yesterday I sat down for about five hours and I 
didn't touch my phone. I just put my brain in this assignment and finished my first draft of this assignment. I think that's what Minerva teaches you to do when the deadlines are also packed. There's no room to overthink what you're gonna do. There's no room to procrastinate. <laughs> it's like, okay, I've got a deadline tomorrow. And especially because Jack, Ahis and Eva here, I don't wanna miss that. <laughs> I don't wanna be locked here at night stressed. And that was actually a really good incentive to just sit down, bang it out, go enjoy myself, wake up early now and then that's it. Okay, I'm now gonna go to bed. It is 10 to eight later today. I can start my pre-work for tomorrow's classes. I can start my other assignment. I could complain because honestly, it has been a stressful few days, but at the end of the day, I really do enjoy what I'm studying. These fat essays do force me to learn and to apply my knowledge in an interesting way. So right now, it's just not worth complaining. I'm grateful to be here. Good night. <laughs> also, I thrifted this jumper yesterday. I really like it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. appreciate it. Oh, hey. My first ever time on one of these scooters. Terrifying. Look, Jack's just, he's chilling. He's living his life. And I'm terrified. We did nearly the line. <laughs> we, we did. <laughs> it was, there was um, some communication errors. <laughs> yeah, good push off. There she goes. Wow. Oh, look at her picking up speed. She's zooming. Lightning McQueen is quaking. She's coming around the backside. She's on the overtake. Could this be a personal best for Jade? She's coming around the bench. She's picking up some confidence. She's oh, gonna wow. not knock over a heat, hopefully. Oh. Hopefully. I, I, I saw the camera was on me. I was about to start catwalking. <laughs> and they said she's coming around the bench. I said, she. <laughs> Hey there guys, so it is the next day and today is literally like our entire day has to be this B111 assignment. The nature of the last week has just been essay after essay after intense classes. Like yesterday we ended classes at midnight. It's a lot. The stress is, I feel like I'm, I'm borderline getting to the point where I could let myself get run down, but I'm not going to do that because that my priority is my mental health. So today I'm going to talk about the assignment that I've got like today to do. This is the most deceptively difficult assignment. It's for my finance class and we've been given 30 pages about two companies. It's P&G and Colgate Partnership. 30 pages about the history of each of the companies. Like every issue is very nuanced. As in, they've not pointed out like, oh wow, there's a huge stock crash here because of XYZ. And then they've also provided us with 13 financial statements in Google Sheets. And again, like no specific questions, they've just given us the financial statements. <laughs> and so it is up to us to go through this information, use the financial statements, conduct DuPont analysis, which is like a statistical tool that you can use to understand a company's financial situation. Try and draw some information from these analyses, then write a 1,250 word essay about which company's doing better, any interesting nuanced situation, but it's so vague that I'm like, how do you know what I'm meant to be saying? It's a lot. It feels like it would be easy, but it's not, because even to understand one of these Google Sheets exhibits about the company, it's taking me like half an hour. So I'm trying to stay optimistic, because if I don't stay optimistic, what's the point? Um, this is the kind of assignment where I'm really applying everything that I know and I'm gonna have to learn. So it'll be a good, be a good assignment. Not right now, but it will be when I'm finished in 14 hours. <laughs> and I have another three classes tomorrow. I don't have to do any of the free work. You know how today's gonna go because I don't really like coffee, but I just drank an entire coffee to keep myself awake. I've got the most gorgeous study buddy here, ready to help me slay the assignment. <laughs> how are you feeling about the assignment? So excited. So excited. <laughs> it's a lot, guys. It is a lot, but. I mean, everybody's a lot, but mine is. 
It's double the alarm. Firstly, let me say the background noise in here is horrible. I'm watching this back and I'm like, oh my goodness, thank you for persevering. But yeah, I pretty much just sat and did my assignment. These noise cancelling headphones are my life. I get in my little zone. Sometimes put on some lo-fi and I wrote myself a breakdown plan of how I was going to tackle this assignment. What would I do without Notion? Hello, so I'm three hours in and it's taken me three hours to go through everything. I feel like I have finally a grasp of the two companies. I kind of now know what I need to do, but it's just frustrating because I haven't started any of the actual analysis, which is going to be the part that takes forever. But it's so interesting. Hey vlog. When I tell you I have spent about 45 minutes trying to calculate this one <laughs> value of the DuPont analysis, I've just reached this point where we need a refresh, like desperately. <laughs> We're going to so, change gonna workspace and, and find <laughs> Vegan cake. We need some, you weird. know, incentive in life. You reward yourself for your hard work. When nowhere near <laughs> finished. I think this is going to be an assignment that takes like 12 hours at least. <laughs> Basically, at Minerva, for every assignment, you get four 24 hour extensions across the whole course for the whole semester. Ideally, you don't want to use any now because it's only going to get more stressful <laughs> and you're only going to have more assignments that require you to use more extensions. However, however, <laughs> I think we're going to have to take another one. And we're already on one. <laughs> yeah, so we're on one, so we will use two, which is half our extension for the whole semester. But also, it's important to mention that it's very interesting what we're doing. It really is. It's it's really hard, yeah. but that's it's how really you learn in life, you know? It's true. <laughs> Good energy, lad. <laughs> Even though I've been working all day and even though I hadn't finished the assignment, unfortunately my priority then had to be classes for tomorrow. Pre-work, pre-readings, etc. I've reached this point in my work process where I'm now listening to my yoga music because I just need to feel calm and chill. I've got three classes tomorrow, each with like three hours of readings and pre-work. But I also have to start class city-based internships alongside classes and assignments. They say it will take us roughly four hours a week minimum in our groups working with our civic partner. So tomorrow morning I have a meeting for that, which means I need to do my pre-work and readings for my first class tomorrow. It's a lot. It's just a lot. Also the whole model of Minerva is that you kind of teach yourself. So in the pre-readings, I effectively teach myself the entire class and then I come to the class and the idea is that I can then apply it to a novel circumstance. I can discuss it more deeply. I get grilled on my knowledge to show me where the gaps in my knowledge are, which is technically good because active learning is how you remember stuff long term. But it just means there's no relaxing. You come to the class and you get grilled. Before the class, you can't not do the readings because you get tested on them as soon as you enter the class. And so for tomorrow's class, you know the five senses? I effectively have to learn the biology of all five senses, which thankfully because of my grounding in A-level biology isn't too hard. But that's like a prerequisite to the class, how you go from light stimuli to all the parts of the eye and how that gets processed into electrical signals, into the brain and different brain regions that are involved in sight. And then I've also got two academic papers based off of senses and application. But it's like, if you don't have the grounding in the deep understanding of senses, like, it just takes you a while to even get to the academic paper. And then once you've done all those readings, you have to do the pre-work which gets submitted. So for example, oh, Gabriel, look who it is. Such a cutie. So if any of you are university students, my heart goes out to you. Like university is a lot. At my uni, I don't have exams. We just get graded on every class or every assignment that we do. Yeah, if you're stressed about workload right now, Got this. Got this. Okay, so this is how you know a sign like season. <laughs> it's up on us. Lara, show us your dinner. It's pre dinner, okay? This is just not dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Simon Lee, baby. That's the worst.
what I was thinking of. <laughs> we also had chips during oh. class. It's like, I don't know. It's healthy chips. It's sad. It has really hit us. Like the last few days um, have been rough. It's just been deadline, deadline, deadline. It's only 7.40 p.m. and it feels like it's 1 a.m. We have another class till midnight It's already night also. Yeah, we have a starting, we have an assignment due tomorrow at 8 a.m. Yay! We haven't even started Come it. We're both We have a lot of fun. Ah. <laughs> this is what people don't show you, you know? This the is seriously what you don't see. Stressful, workaholic part of this university student's life. My heart rate in today's class, the stress is just starting, honestly. I feel like this sure. is the, the first day where I'm like, oh my god, I might get run down and stressed, which I'm not gonna let happen. Minerva really try to get you to that <laughs> point. They really try. Even the professor today had to take 10 minutes to just be like, I just wanna say, I think you're amazing. We know how much stress and pressure there is on you all. So I think you're great, <laughs> which was really sweet of her. But um, yeah, I just wanted to sit and cry because it's so much work. We're right. We're okay. <laughs> We're okay. <laughs> We're okay. <laughs> I don't know if this is still edible, but this is my dinner and I think it's fine. <laughs> so generally I tried to meal prep, which has honestly changed my life because food and eating, it just doesn't factor well in when you've got so much to do. But yeah, I have two hours in between these two classes, so I just tend to make something easy then. You wanna eat? Do you want to eat? I don't know you're eating anything Do you want to eat? No, I eat the video. So, Pedro, you can eat all the things that I have. And you can do whatever you want. Oh, food. I have you food. have tofu, I want tofu. Sorry, but no, because it didn't help me. You want to say something? Introduce yourself to the vlog, wait, wait. Hi. <laughs> this is Pedro. He's basically our adopted roommate. Pedro, tell, tell me about yourself. <laughs> I don't know where you're from, what you like to do, what you're studying. Oh, like everyone else here from Brazil. Including me, also awesome from Brazil. So, as you can see, I like to cook. He doesn't just like to cook. Okay. This man is a chef. Honestly, you just give him some like random ingredients and he just produces something that's like, wow. I feel like I'm at a restaurant. I'm just gonna hype you up, Pedro, because you're amazing. He also yeah. plays like 10 instruments really well. My ukulele. It ne never sounded as good as when Pedro was playing it. What else are Pedro's skills? Life skills. This is so cute. <laughs> everything. He does everything. Any, I'm not even kidding, Pedro does do anything. Coding. Coding, oh my god. <laughs> How did I even get that? <laughs> Pedro is the most incredible coder ever. Oh wait, why don't you also like um, a national volleyball player or something? <laughs> <laughs> Um, what else to say? He gives really good hugs and he's just a really nice person. Okay. I will, I will. I just waiting for the camera to stop. <laughs> it's a good meme or salt. You're looking at health in a pan. Okay, I have two hours to do three academic readings and. What else do we have to do? Google Sheet during two hours. It's okay. Answer four study questions. Easy. They recommend watching 38 minutes worth of videos, but I don't really think I have time for that. So I'm hoping that just from the readings, I understand. Sorry. I'm amazed. What are you doing with this? This is just tofu. This is amazing. If you know in Portuguese for it. Portuguese. This puts to shame any tofu I've ever made. This is insane! This is insane. Oh, Pedro, how did you turn this into Chia that? Chia seeds, mushrooms, ketchup, and honey. <laughs> <laughs> we can <laughs> this! How? 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 Wow, you're amazing. Look at my sad <laughs> vegetables in a pot. That's so bad. This is Pedro. This is... Honestly, <laughs> wow. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Go and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why is this crunchy? Pedro, you're incredible. Pedro, this is so good. I've never had tea more taste like this. My taste is so bland. <laughs> it's better than yours, I 
to teach you that I have this. <laughs> Happy birthday to Wait, show the cute balloon. cry. There were shoes all around here. They've swept it, mopped it. It's gorgeous. Gabriel, how's it going? How do you feel? Cleaning like house is life changing. It is life changing. Do it. If you're watching this and your house is a mess, this is a sign. Go there right now. You're gonna feel so much better about everything. Swept that. Swept this. Here's our reward. <gasps> Today I got in the shower and I stood there for like five minutes and I felt like I was having my soul cleansed. We have lived in the dirtiest apartment for the last like week. We have been stuck to our laptops for the last week, not been sleeping properly. We have been absolute wrecks. And I feel like with the the look at this, look at this, look at this open space, look at this amazing food. This is the start. This is the fresh energy we think we all need. Oh my god. Is it good? <laughs> Can we just appreciate the fact that Pedro put chia seeds on these? I'll like how creative. The decoration. Right. I love to give oh my god. Me. The smoke tofu. Good. It looks so professional. Also. I'm really intrigued to hear your opinion on this, but I swear when you've got more work, the days just flash past. I can't believe I've been here for like six weeks now. The weeks, they just, they just a blur. <laughs> I honestly can't tell you how grateful I am for the people in my life here. The work is tough. Having people who not only relate and help you, but just make you a happy human, it just changes things. If you're struggling with academic workload, I just wanna say, you've got this. Stay optimistic, learning is meant to be fun. Try and find some kind of benefit in the work you're doing. And as well as cleaning your apartment, maybe I challenge you to learn something just for fun this weekend. Okay, have a beautiful one. Bye.